We were somewhere on campus in Berkeley, California, when some gonzo journalism began to unfold. Alright, make sure we're, we're heading up. Uh, don't worry, just keep looking at the road. Don't just worry. keep going straight. Alright, so what if, we're, what if we're going to Vegas? We're going this way, don't worry. Yeah, I don't want to go to Vegas. I don't want to go home. Okay, let's keep going straight. We're going make to sure that we're going. We're going straight for four hours. This isn't right to me. We should have taken a turn back there. What the fuck? It's literally your property. What the fuck? Fine. No, please find us home. Home. Oh. Oh. Mr. President, he wants me to go to Berkeley at once. Make contact with a transvestite patriot named Amber. She'll have all the details. All I have to do is go to Sprawl Plaza, seek her out. What do you think? Sounds like real trouble. We need plenty of intel before this thing goes down. As an Antifa infiltrator, I advise you to buy a big bag of weed, a bottle of whiskey, Mushrooms for special effects. Mm, yeah. Get the hell out of San Jose for at least 12 hours. Makes my weekend. Why? Because naturally I gotta go with you. We're gonna arm ourselves to the teeth. Well, why not? If there's anything worth doing, we're doing right. This is the American dream in action. Cheers. show back for another exciting episode of Pot and Politics. To start this episode, I will prepare, uh, propose a toast for to for to, to for. being healthy, good to good health. How about that one? Let's do this is over. No, no, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> to good health for to be. To be healthy. Today's featured beverage is Old Crow. Again. Is there like a slogan under it? The original Sour Mash Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, Dr. James Crow. I'm a doctor of Crow. I'm a doctor of Corbettism. God damn it. Doctor at Call of Duty. I'm a doctor of Stutterism. Doctor of Call of Duty. Blow it out. I guess. No, I mean, I did that. It's just in my, in my lungs at this point. Oh. So I'm really sorry it took us so long. As you know, Mr. Gold's father had a stroke, so someone always has to be there uh, at all times. And we are both well aware that um, Every day that goes by, the topic gets less and less relevant. So I wanted to get this video out there before the weekend came of the rally, like the very next weekend. We had this on Sunday. Honestly, today was a really busy day, but at the end of it, I realized I had enough time to pull this off, so that's why I came here. Yeah, my dad had stroke, and basically, um, I'm there basically all the time making it impossible for me to hang out like I used to, but, you know, it's, it's what I care about, you know. It is what it is. We're here now, and, uh, yeah, before we get started, I just wanted to get all that out, out of the way. Um, sorry for the delay, and now that we're finally on this, we're going to give you our versions of the event of the third annual March Against Marxism 2019 with Amber Cummings. So, if you're joining us tonight, light a fat one, crack a cold one, or pour a, yeah, drink a hard one. Drink a hard one, if that's what you got. Is that what you call it? Uh, I don't care. I'm coining it right now. It's patent. Write it down, damn it. Cat pen. 
What did I say? <laughs> Drink a hard one. Add one. <laughs> 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 it's already got Squiggle me. it there. <laughs> Boom! Right. Let's play. Alright, where were we at this moment? Where was I? Let's I think I see myself in the distance. We're down there, huh? This is, yeah, you just, so you, you yeah, just I, I took broke, off. I broke off because I pretended to be Antifa and I just watched what they're doing. So when we first showed up, what you see happening here is uh, we split up as we came in from the uh, east portion of of the town, right? So we get in there, and he goes towards Antifa. I don't even see him. I don't even see him change or nothing. I go up. I just find myself a nice top. I like to find myself a nice high portion of the area and you know, try to record from there. I didn't see anybody. Yeah, high ground. High ground. Yeah. Yeah. Footage. They, they can't try it. I have the high ground. So I look around. I didn't see anybody yet, but I know I see that you see the police line there, so I can see across. I can see all them marching. And from what I was told, they actually had came already once around 10, 10:30 and made the march already. But the cops made they formed the line right there and didn't let anybody else through. Um, but eventually, I did see Amber, and I uh, went down and said hi and see to see what was going on. Same old stuff. Whose streets are streets? You say it's a peaceful protest, but it's just. It's, it's like having the Tasmanian devil on crack, you know? Like, really? I don't know, how to, I don't know a, what analogy I'm trying to make here. That's an extreme way of putting it. Like, they say they're peaceful, but you know, hey, I'm a Trump supporter. Bam, there goes your head. stop to take shit and um, yeah on exiting the bathroom my buddy here got made fun of or something by one of the people in line that's right when we got there I go in I didn't even like take a shit or nothing I, I, we had to use the bathroom and it was only one bathroom there's some girl in front of me and I go I go inside the bathroom after she comes out there's one guy waiting behind me and uh, Shit, I'll be honest, all I had to do was wipe my ass. I felt uncomfortable for some reason. It was kind of hot, a little sweaty. I had to get that out of there. TMI. Then, just as I'm finished, I hear someone say, hurry up. And it sounds like a guy. <laughs> and as soon as I step out of the bathroom, the, fuck, the fucker looks at me and fucking laughs right as I walk by. Like, he just giggles. Like, he just, ha <laughs> And I stop, I turn around, and then he just gets a straight face and just kind of looks down. Like, uh... What a pussy. What a pussy. What can you expect in Berkeley? Fucking college kids. Man. 
if uh, how should I say this? I know people who wouldn't have like a very similar response to you. I know people who would have a very different response to something like that. Like if, if my boy Manny was the guy that was getting laughed at, he would be like, "Well, what's up? What you laughing at?" And you know, you bring it up right then and there. <laughs> but you know, it wasn't worth our time. Get in a fight before we even get to there. I'm a non-violent person. You guys know that. Yeah. I just it was enough for me to turn around. I just stopped and turned around and looked right at him. And uh, but I didn't say nothing. I wasn't. Uh, I'm not always looking for. I'm not looking for a fight. It's not worth a fight. Not worth it. There was plenty of plenty of crap going on where we were heading. Where'd all the fish you go? Oh, the angelfish died. But yeah, there's one. Oh, there's two in there. There's nothing there. So. We get there, we get to, we get to Berkeley, right? We're at Berkeley. No, we get to the park. After that, after we're done with the bathroom. Get there, I start recording, get all this done. We start, when did it kick in? I don't think we, no, you took off before we even ate any mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Like, we split up, and I went here to meet up with Amber, and he went to, he went to Antifa. I don't, we didn't, I don't think we ate any mushrooms. It wasn't until you got back, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but those things were still going. To be honest, I don't even remember. Yeah. I know it's a... So he comes, he comes back, he comes back from Berkeley, and at some point we meet Berkeley. up. He comes back from Berkeley. He comes back from hanging out with Antifa. You know, it's probably coming up. Let's check this out. It's around this time that it's uh, based commie here is talking with me, and he's telling me about the two laps that they've done marching around the main streets up, back up to the university. Very interesting. Very based commie. Based commie. You know what based commie is? Not really. Yeah, maybe he's, he might show up in my Sounds like it comes. Yeah, but he's he's on our side. He's because he comes from Soviet Russia. Uh, that's funny that they call people who grow who, who came from post-Soviet nations fascists. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Well, they're dumbasses. What do you expect? guy yeah. Cool. Behind you? yeah well right now we're at the point where base Kami is telling me uh, we're actually talking about um, Abner because he shows up well, I see him again he, he's there and he's standing with us but we all know he's Antifa and he doesn't he doesn't say anything to me this time I don't know maybe he finally took a hint let me see it. maybe I can see it yeah, yeah. Of your glasses. no yeah yeah I kind of always knew. So I mean, I always kind of suspected. Well, he was, like, he was hanging, hanging out with us, but he, he, at no time did he say that he was anything yeah. but the student who was filming, with him saying, like, you couldn't just kind of, it was kind of clear. I figured he was a level-headed leftist, and he wasn't reporting all this. But you know what? I don't, really, I don't really care at all, because everything we said in front of him shows that we are, like, the good guys. Yeah. What, what, you know what I mean? It's not like we were like, oh, you know, like, let, like, let us tell you all our plans. We're like, everything that's been said, and when he was around and everything that he recorded completely show us that there's no ill will on that like there's yeah. like oh this is where you showed up this is when you came back we were just a bunch of normal people yeah so he was telling me that they came at 10 o'clock and they did a they circled around and then now I guess they're gonna circle around again yeah because they're going they're going around the block it's typical and nobody really and just and nobody cares. walking around in circles making a bunch of noise Walking around in circles, making a bunch of noise. Yeah, so basically what happened. I was right. Huh? I'm gonna catch up with them. Huh? I'm gonna catch up with them. Okay, have fun. 
He likes to dress up like a group and go do stuff with them. Okay, have fun. Uh, bye. Past me. I ran off like a fucking kid. <laughs> Hey, look at this guy, here comes freaking Obi-Wan Kenobi or Sith Lord, like in Darth Sidious. It's amazing that after all, like, after, after all this time, they still believe, they still believe that they're fascists walking around. Or Nazis, yeah. or anything. Like, like it still had, like... Yeah, his face showing? Yeah, yeah, his face showing, but he was walking around with this giant ass hood and just over his head like it was some kind of, you know, Sith Lord or something. <laughs> Okay, I can understand that the media really like convinced people in 2016. But it's been three years. What happened? Like, what's going on? Like, like, yeah, didn't they just like don't they understand by now that it was just? No, you would think that eventually they would catch on. <laughs> Why do people go to the school again? Uh, to be indoctrinated. To be indoctrinated. There's Abner, I think. What, what do they teach? Do they teach anything? Or just like, fill them up with a liberal bullshit? Just fill them up pretty much with just the, it's just a liberal bullshit. Oh, man, they have to pay for it too? The anarchist mask that she gave me, who's this? Yeah, there's a mask, the goat mask with the A on it. You know the goat mask? Guy screaming when we take our shot. Let's take our shots. Peace and quiet. Holy crap, I just realized we had the AC going the whole time. Sorry folks, I'm not changing this. too much noise. I'm sure it's going to be a problem, but we've been loud. As long as we keep staying, staying yeah, forget. Yeah, Who cares? It didn't even happen. Hey, how about this? I'm, I'm classy with my audio issues. How about this stanky... Go for it. ...bubble. Or will you remain silent? Yeah. A debate sounds fun. That's how you ask them for a debate.
Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. All three of you so heard you. Swords of Bates. You to a Pokemon duel. Listening to him. He's saying a bunch of nonsense. A person not willing to use free speech in a bad And now we have Amber. Someone who's willing to take their words. Someone who's willing to use their words. We should do that with our own megaphones. We get our own megaphones and just say blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. And we just change our tones progressively. Sure, I'm down. Why not? This is the American dream in action. Amber, party of eight, we're waiting for you. Amber, party of eight, your table is ready. <laughs> That's right, Amber's a fascist. Amber is a fascist. You can always count on the kindergarten stuff happening. That, that's that's a given. It's going to happen at some point. Yeah, it's Berkeley. It's like one big ass kindergarten. If you want to be, you don't want to grow up, just go to Berkeley. <laughs> Neverland, just second star to the right and straight on I-80. Peter Pan, Neverland. Yeah, you know, never grow up there. Wisp away. Say children forever. <coughs> so obvious that they're saying it as an insult and they don't actually believe that they're fascist. It's like they, I, it's just, to me that just says they don't actually believe it. That even First, they themselves... to believe in it, you have to understand it. You have to fully know the, the meaning and the definition of it, which is something they don't clearly comprehend at all. Obviously. In any capacity. I mean, they're, they're yelling... Amber is a fascist with with the whole the whole kindergarten bully thing. Da, na, 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 na. And they're adults. When did you ever do that and actually like I don't know how to worry it. I don't know how to word it, but it's just obviously it's just an insult. The way they're doing it, they're using it as just an insult. That is the, as you see right in this footage, that is exactly how it's being used. It's just as an insult, and over, and over, and over, and over again. You can hear clearly right here. So this 
this is your footage right here, huh? Yep. Start off filming the police, you know, playing it safe, and then make a 180, just turn it right back at the crowd. And you see what they, uh, you see what they do. They just stand only in the street, no, no sidewalk people. The only people that stand on the sidewalk are the people that want that want to have nothing to do with it from the police. Ah. This girl right here is with this other girl, and uh -huh. this shorter girl gets really mad at me at the end of the video. No I get a ginormous backpack in my face. Were you saying at all, fascists are not welcome here? Yeah, I was singing along with their dumb chants, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta do, we gotta do what it takes to blend into the crowd, right? Yeah, you don't really sound like you're really giving it your all. <laughs> I was in the fucking front lines, dude. I was holding the fucking banner for walking down the man, street. Man, you fucking proud with it. No fucking hate, man. No fear, man. Fascists, get the fuck out. <laughs> you just start fucking break dancing. <laughs> Just maybe like a handstand. Just start drawing a hell of attention. Just, just do, draw the wrong kind of attention. Just like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Start freestyle rapping about fucking Nazis and shit. <laughs> Sure, she either sees me or they all just talk to each other, like whispering. But yeah, they get bossy. I think that's Mr. Cold. What about that debate they offered him? They offered him, offered Amber a debate. So now they're just following her around. I guess let's follow. They could have walked in with their hands up. What's funny is that we won against everybody here during the 2016 election. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, being hated, being admired, makes no difference. We're still gonna win with the same people that voted him in last, you know, during the last election. These people are just extra. <laughs> Man, Amber has such a crowd. I know. It's like she shows up and like all these people just from from this point of view, it's like they're all just. Like, <laughs> if it was a deaf person looking at this crowd, it's like, wow, this is a really cool guy, huh? I want to get to know that guy. <laughs> but a bunch of bodyguards. <laughs> And it's the exact opposite. It's like a parade with no no bandwagons. There's a bandwagon, just 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 one. Just one. But you can't see it. Today is the day the Nazis invaded Poland. So Amber came to Berkeley. Eighty years ago today, the Nazis invaded Poland. Start of World War II in Europe.
If this was a official Trump rally, shit would be so much worse. Yeah. It's... This is pretty calm. It is, it is like... <clears throat> it's really just a march. It, it is what we said it was. Nothing more, you know, nothing less. You know what's funny is that because it's a march, that means everyone who's walking with Amber is marching with Amber. Yeah. So, in hindsight, they're all marching for Amber. That's yep, true. That's correct. Don't think against it because you'll be wrong. <laughs> that's true. And I did say at one point, like, we're here because you people show up. Such a great big world that's all made up for a pug, curious cat, and a pug nose pup. It's all nice Of course. <laughs> Save her souls. Save her souls. <laughs> Anyways. Play. Play. Pause. No, let's just let this play. Pause, play. Pause, play. Wait, cheers. To, to America. To Alien Star. Yeah, sure, why not? Be cool. Yeah, 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 Communism is the abolition of all faith, Amber. You know what I like to say? Whatever you'd like. Uh, people that live in the past will never find their future. Thank God we stopped in the shade. Lindsay never left Amber's side. She stayed right beside her the whole way, Amber everywhere was she was kind of like quick. Like, I turned my back, and then she'd be like, Boom, over God. there. Yeah, we fucking the there was one instance where it happened where we got separated from Amber, and then they blocked the road between us, and we had to like go around the block a different way and find her. I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal because. It was like, what, two buildings per block or something? Yeah, that's when we went to... Is it Revolution Bookstore or Revolutionary Bookstore? We went Columbia's over there. Bookstore, Columbia's Berkeley. Bookstore, Berkeley. It's bookstore. all you need to Google search and you'll find it. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Uh, we went over there, but we'll get to that here in a bit. Stores have to maintain business to keep themselves open. That means people who read books have gone there and spend money there frequently. And this lady's making a fucking profit selling communism. You know what that, that's, is that irony? It is. That's, that's like one of the purest forms of irony, but they don't see that. They don't get that. Like, I had this conversation with this Antifa chick on, online on my Instagram recently. And she she posted a comment about how this picture that was making its rounds online of Antifa, a whole army of Antifa, this picture right here, they're all standing in their black masks and black clothes and shit and behind uh, two people in a wheelchair and a black guy. And and she commented that it was rude, that the picture was rude. And, and I, I, I like... I'm too bad. Fuck. Like, you're rude. You're, like, you're concerned about rudeness? People of Antifa beat people up. And not of all mention. ages, of all ages, yeah, all genders, <laughs> all, all races. They don't care. They don't Once, care. They don't give a shit. They don't give two shit. They don't give anything. They'll beat the fuck yeah. out of you if they know you support Trump. And, and you're concerned about... You're better off pretending you, you're a Hillary supporter. And you're concerned about a, a rude photo or making its rounds on the well, internet? I'm not really concerned about any of their opinions. But I, mean, this, I mean, not you, but this girl, this Antifa chick. Oh, right. Yeah. And so she says, like, oh, because uh, I called her an Antifa, a member of Antifa. She said, there are no members of Antifa. There, there's, uh, the world is, is, you know, it's either you're either fascist or it's anti-fascist. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize the world was so black and white. <laughs> And she said, and then she later said, yeah, open your mind. Like, Wait, what? I didn't get that. Open your mind. She said, she said that the, either you're fascist or you're anti-fascist. There, no, there is no members of Antifa. You're either fascist or you're anti-fascist. And I'm, I said, wow, I didn't realize the world was so black and white. Like, everybody is either you're fascist or you're anti-fascist. That's mm -hmm. why they attack dogs, because she's either fascist or she's anti-fascist. She's clearly fascist. Oh, yeah, she, yeah, we're, she, we're fascists. She was a she was a guard at Auschwitz once. Yes, that's good. Yeah. And then they're the anti-fascists, clearly. And that's what it, that's just the way it is. It's black and white. And she's and then she follows it up with another message later saying, "Open your mind, like be more open-minded." You literally just said everyone is either fascist or anti-fascist, and there's nothing that is about as closed-minded as you can get it, to just reduce everything down to two groups. It's either you're this or you're that. And you're telling me to open my mind. And then later she's like, yeah. Because she asked me, I used an analogy, and she asked me what the analogy meant. And I said, it means you're a hypocrite. And she, and she's like, when you're losing the battle, when you're losing the argument, so you unsuccessfully insult your opponent. Like, yeah, okay, whatever, never mind. <laughs> what would you say the age range is for Antifa? Uh, I, I would say, like... Late teens to late twenties. Shit. That's good my thing, guess. Good thing R. Kelly wouldn't be there because he'd pee on everybody. <laughs> yeah. I just want you to get this on your live stream. The left is here. Not just communists. No, but he's all no, forms of the left is here. I'm here to protest him. And then. Where's the violence? Now? What's the difference? What difference at this point does it make? But they showed up with, with the black mask. They showed up. Oh, that's, the, that's the KKK right there. Why people are showing up right now is the adjacency you have to the KKK. That's the reason why people are showing up. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I have real but you are. I have the problem, boys, boys, there are white yeah. supremacists, the there are white confessionals, there are white abolitionists, people who actually want to take people into their homes, churches that want to protect people. Don't, white people can be those too, but when you're white supremacist or white supremacist adjacent, you're not welcome. So, you're not so, welcome. so you think you're yeah. welcome? Yeah. Oh, all the things I've suffered, I've been free. You can go to the Pain Center and be able to get a 
surgery if you want hey, to no. right. get a trans confirmation surgery. If you want to do that, if you want to get your name changed or your gender marker changed, you have that right as a person. But when marker. you embolden white supremacy, you're not oh, welcome. Oh, yeah, my message is white supremacy when I've been anti-Marxist the whole time. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. get it. Those two are not the same. You're using bait and switch, man. Stop that. Why are they on your side? Dude, this guy in the sunglasses over here, fucking Matrix looking motherfucker. That guy was standing next to me when I was marching up on the streets. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm not against the other people, I'm against the communists. So let's get that clear. So the communists are here, the rest of the people. Do you say Amber should be here? No! no. Okay. She's a fascist! You guys say you're a sanctuary city and a person from another country could be here, but a transsexual is not allowed to be here. We don't want fascists here. Fuck you, Trans people can be here. Not even transsexual fascists. Fascists go home! I couldn't even have an intellectual conversation with them. It was impossible. Every other sentence was, had not seen it, you know? Yeah. It's all, it happened at Portland, it happened here too, no matter, like, they don't even call us Republicans, they just call us Nazis. Just Nazis? Like, swear to God, they don't... No, no, they, they, they don't say it. Fascists? They, they use it as an actual fucking noun, they, like, they put it, they replaced it, they don't, they don't, they don't say it with intent of harming us, that's just the word they use. It's are they using the word Nazi, or are they using the word fascist? Both. Both. I mean, when they describe us as a group, of course, call us Nazis. Nazis. But when it's like the individual, it's more like you're, you're a, fascist. a fascist. You know, it's not like oh, the fascists are moving us too much syllables for them. You know, remember they're retarded. They're dumb. They can't think like us. They too many syllables. They'll just back down to Nazi because that's only two. Gotcha. Fascists go home. 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 Same old, same old, annoying old shit. Maybe they, maybe they figure they'll that we'll leave if they just be annoying. No, who would openly go out to Berkeley and say that they're Nazis? <laughs> well, let's just do that. Let's let's just fuck with them. Let's just make it. I wanted to do that from the beginning. I swear, I was like, what if I like go online and find a Nazi costume? I'm sure I can. Right now, at this point, you probably can't. But if then, in 2017, you probably could. I guarantee just, you, I'll like, find one in half a minute. Just, just go dressed as Nazis and just like in, all in costume, like ah, yelling Nazi German rally. shit, yelling <laughs> Nazi. German. Nazi rally. Siga! 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 But we use specifically German. Sie Deutsch! Siga! You have to say every word with anger. Siga! De Schnee! De Schnee! De Schnee! I don't know what that means. The snow. Fascists go home! 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 What they don't understand is the more attention we get for showing up, the more often we're going to show up. Fascists go home! 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 We're Americans, understand that. I understand. I understand. No, you guys
So I mean, if we're gonna sit there and say about a talk or land, we don't have to go back that no, far. No, we do. No, we, we go, go back, back as far. There. You want to go? International convention. Of no, human we rights. Can, you, we don't go back as far as you say. We go back to. Rights are outlined sir, we don't by go back the international community, sir. Not a That's 1945. So, sir, you say where the United States said that you have a right to civil Sam, and political rights as well as economic, social, and cultural rights. So we, we go back as far as you say we can to make sure case for your communism. And as long as it makes your case for your communism. But it's not about communism. It's, it's exactly about communalism. About. It's about the community as a whole coming together for peace Yeah, they all said that. That's what they all said in the fucking 30s and in Russia. Yeah, communism. It's about the community. That's why we call it communism. 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 I get it. See, now we are all friends. That's how. That's how. It's not about communism. It's about the community. Oh my god. You name it, no matter what fancy fucking name, we can make. We can name it the Fun Rainbow Buddy Club, and then make it about <laughs> fucking murdering your kids. You know. <laughs> No matter what the fuck you call it, the, the, you know, the end result, that, that's what it is. You don't just fucking say, oh, this is what it sounds like. It's about protecting and preserving everyone's liberty to free speech, to freedom of oh, association. Yeah, you guys are about free speech, that's why you're here today. Yes, we are. That's why we're here. Yeah. Oh, really? Free speech and tell oh, really? Oh, is that why they killed the fucking czar? <laughs> You're not welcome. To, that's why you're telling me to get out of your trans woman. The woman's. cops are yeah, against fucking whoa, free speech. Whoa. They're letting us all talk. Whoa. Are they letting you talk? They're letting me talk. Oh, they fucking almost arrested me today. Because you're wearing a mask. 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 Because you're wearing a no, they think that, I don't know. I think the black guy, I don't know. I'm not filming the guy who was actually talking to me saying that, telling me that I look like a terrorist with, in a suit and tie. Hold up, hold up. This guy look, this guy is telling anyone he look, that they're a terrorist. Like, hold yeah. up, hold up. You look like the guy that blew the plane into the fucking Twin Towers for, like, the fucking, like, the afterlife. Exactly. Fat. We're in a black trench coat. Yeah, yeah. We know that students, Columbine, are wearing trench coats. I haven't been arrested. I haven't even almost been arrested. I'm sorry. I haven't been almost arrested yet. They have. Amber, why are you afraid of debating a communist? I'm talking to one right now. That's not a communist. I don't think you would. Amber, you want violence. Hey, what 
Okay. Now you move again. The landlord, you're paying double rent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't here. I see the everything, but. What's that? I guess. I'm just going to follow us around everywhere. It's what they do best, right? Yeah. Let's cheers to that. Cheers to the live stream. To better live streams. To, to better connections. To in the better future. recording. To, to, to 5G. So, 5G? Yeah. To fucking 8G. <laughs> to 8G. <laughs> My chicken. Have you ever had MSG soup? Mmm, sounds so fucking delicious. <laughs> MSG is a seasonally. <laughs> There's no proof that MSGs water, are bad for you. you just water and MSG. <laughs> this chicken's not good. MSG and this chicken, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, wow. <laughs> I'm an anti shit in my ass. That's why I take craps. She died of a heart attack. She didn't get hit. Are you pro or anti fascist? Oh, you're a fucking fascist scum. Get the fuck out of here. Amber, are you pro or anti American? Then Amber is pro fascist. If fascism is colonization, what's more American than fascist? We're almost to the point where like we're almost to the point where this guy, this this dude with this fucked up haircut and this tiny voice, like he got his balls cut off when he was ten, just starts saying over and over and over again, Amber Cummings is here to cause violence, that's why she's here, blah, 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 over and over again, very repetitive, as loud as he can, and he's just basically just trying to inside a rat. Check it out. What's your comment for, bro? You don't want to talk? They're in the garage. They're in the garage. You got the helmet on. You got the helmet on, bro. What do you got the shirt on? You should pop that off. I thought we're the pussies though. I thought we're the pussies. Well, he came here and expected you guys to take it. You don't see any of us with helmets. You don't see us with helmets. No. He's more pussy than the cops. Because we don't hit you. Because we don't hit you. She wants to intimidate you. Go home and get a pedicure, Amber. This guy's got fucking body armor on and that guy's got a helmet on. They came here for violence. Exactly, and they're pussies. None of us have violence. I'm standing right here. I ain't a pussy. Yeah, you are. I'm standing right here. You're a big pussy. I'm standing right here. You guys are all pussies. I don't need to fight you to prove it. Everyone knows you're a pussy. Regardless of what happens. Amber wants violence. We're saying your soul is a pussy. That's why you're scared of everyone else. That's why I come alone. I'm so scared. Amber's got a whole. This guy's got a fucking helmet. I can't. No, you're before it. Before I had you no 
<laughs> project much? Amber Cummings <laughs> wants a fight. She wants violence. She came with bodyguards. She came to intimidate I came, you. I came did, alone. I, did I come alone or did I come with bodyguards? A minute ago I had nobody. Well, that's not a helmet on. There's yeah, I, I came with bodyguards. I walked here by myself. Amber Cummings wants violence. That's yeah, right. You don't think that's happening right now? No. Don't you? You don't have any dignity walking around with a fucking helmet on. Oh yeah, like like these pussies that set that these knife off, they spray shit in us and get these cowards. She wants to intimidate you. That's how they are. That's why she's on campus. It's annoying how people are all the same. You know what I mean? It's not like you deal with one person and it's you know you talk, you explain yourself, and it's over. It's, everybody is a reset button, you know, you know, no matter what happens in the end, if they agree with you or not, first it starts with, you're a racist, and like, what did they just say a second ago? Oh, and they find out, well, you're a racist, you're this, you support violence, that's it. Yeah, she, you know, they say all this bullshit, and then when you break it down for them, no matter if they agree with you or not, it's just another research, another dumbass that you have to explain everything to again, over and over again. So, yeah, you support everything, but the likeliness of you getting followers in Berkeley is a needle in a haystack. Right. I'm just saying it's not the pussy dog for taking a blind film. You can do whatever yeah. you want. Fuck that song. You gotta take a photo of that song. I ain't scared of you. I'll tell you that. Amber wants violence. That's what I'm saying. Don't let him intimidate you. Rewind, play. Amber wants violence. Rewind, play. Amber wants violence. I'm glad you can walk around. I'm glad you can walk around. They haven't done the, the no trouble. No, can, can, can. Oh, I haven't heard that yet. That's right. They're waiting to pull that one out. And that's the finale. It'd be like when the Royals tried to play that Royals song and they lost the World Series and never played it. <laughs> right? Right? Everyone wants people to prepare for violence on campus. The way he talks is so gay. I know where they're coming from, but they're they're taking a way out of the portion. See, they just said, yep. Like, they said they want to overthrow America. You remember the first event I went to? Yeah. That was definitely violence. Oh. And we, some people knew what they were getting into. I didn't. So I don't doubt that other people did either, but end result there was violence, and I'm not, and I'm honestly believe it was Antifa's fault. Antifa is, no matter what, to blame for violence. We come there, we express ourselves, and they come in and they don't like it, so they they hit you, you know. That's the bottom line. What I, what I'm trying to say here is what the fuck was I trying to say? The Antifa shows up and they commit violence. <laughs> and, but we don't. No, that's what I just said. I like Marco's shirt, Tacos. Tacos Politics? What does it say? Oh, yeah. Like, they're saying violence on campus. Uh huh. But, like, really, it, the only violence there is is on the street. And if it's on campus, that's be, that's be, just because people don't care. It's not because people want it on campus. It's just people don't care where they are, where they act. They'll just they'll they'll do it if they feel it. that's what they if that's how they feel. Yeah. And it happened in a park, and it happened all around the streets of that park, but nowhere near the campus. In fact, the campus was probably the safest spot. It might have been. Yeah, the cops followed us all the way to the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. they're on our ass. Dude, after I switched sides, the cops fucking looked at me, but they were cool. They were fucking cool, but it was like all the cops knew at the same time, you know what I mean? Like, they were cool with me, but it was like an instant, like, chain reaction. Don't you 
had the balls to do that. Stop it! <laughs> so, kudos to the cops for catching on to, to my shenanigans. I plan on doing it again. I might need a new mask though, because I didn't really. I just had a mask, and then I took off the mask and set everything else on. But prior to that, I had a whole outfit. Are we uh, gonna take the break in the shade, or are we gonna keep going? See, they just said, yep. She said, they want to overthrow America, and they said, yep, yep. I heard two yeps in the crowd. My dog is making herself comfy. She so don't like to hear that. Yeah, you want to get comfy with the dog? <laughs> She's not from the Bay Area. That's the Delta. That's where I'm from. I'm like 15 minutes away from here. Yeah. This is my home. That was one hour. One hour out. Delta was a nasty place. A lot of meth labs and stinky cow pastures. What a shithole. Kind of like Berkeley without the cow pastures. Yeah. There's one of my buddies in that tree right there. Is everything okay? Hey, buddy. Is that guy even a human or is he just a some kind of machine, robot? That's a sign! It's a sign, everybody! It's a sign! Jesus Christ! Come up with something new, please. I'm gonna go stand under the shade. Good idea. Yeah, Lindsay got sunburn. Oh, yeah, I need some shade too. Not a very big crowd on either our part, but whatever. It was like it was about as many of us as there, on our side and their side as there was police. I mean, I like how the police keep their distance, but... I like how the police keep their distance, but, like, they're all fucking standing right next to each other. Yeah, they're, like, with each other. Dude, that means if anything happens, they're gonna get rolled up on by, like, 20 fucking SWAT members, you know? This is, yeah. no, this is no fucking joke. Like, <clears throat> They'll just be there in like a heartbeat, just boom. Clubs drawn. It was different back beating then. people's eyeballs out of their heads. Back then when it was the fucking the first Trump rally that I went to, it was different back then because we didn't have that type of that line of protection. It was whoever came in that much amount of gear. And if you didn't come in that much amount of gear, you, better, you, you either know how to fight or know how to run. Yeah. I, I, I always wondered what did, you didn't you went the other way because you had to go east. Well, we went had to go um, west. 
And on, on the west side, by the Children's Discovery Museum next to the freeway, there was... We saw people that weren't in police uniform, but looked like military uniform. So Wait, what are you talking about? Like, they looked like green. Wait, Not when camo, are you? but green. When are you talking about? During the first Trump rally back in 2000. Right, right, okay. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, people there, so like a handful of people there had actual military like, training. And, you know, people like this, I'm pretty sure they have their own access to some type of vest. Yeah, they got the Antifa crowd. My, yeah, my boy's with them. Hey, he said he's leaving them and he's going to come over here right now. Yeah, Crowman17, the bird crow, C R O W M A N 17. You'll find it on all the platforms. Crowman17. That's right. What's violence? She wants to, she wants to intimidate you. Why she's on campus? Camming Swans Heads! Amber Cummings wants pizza! Amber Cummings wants pizza. Oh, you ended up going to pizza after that, too. I noticed that. <laughs> Amber Cummings wants to intimidate you. And he has, he has, hey, 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 you guys ever see that movie Mars Attacks when the ray aliens are running around with the speaker that says, don't run, we are your friends. <laughs> it's this guy right here. Don't run, we are your friends. <laughs> don't run, we are your friends. <laughs> I'm gonna trip my balls at this point. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm gonna laugh at the same joke forever. I'm sure at this point you've probably had a few of yourself. Where am I? I don't even know. Is that with you guys? I mean, as long as you're with Amber, like, that was cool. Because we tend to get lost sometimes. It really is a nice day for this, isn't it? Can't we all agree on that? It was, definitely was a good day for it. Is the Mr. Hateful over here? Who? Behind them. The dude, the dude in the white shirt. Who's the same? Mr. White T-shirt and shirts. Yeah, no, let's see him. Who's, what's he saying? He's just talking shit. Like? He's just, he's just, he's just trying to be intimidating, you know, pushing his size around, that's all. In your backpack. Get your school books and your Pokemon cards in there? I do. I don't imagine, like, I'm trying to imagine if Amber's heart is racing or not, because at any moment it could turn into a fight between this dude and her. You know, Amber doesn't care. And I know she's down to fight. I, I know she's down like, to fight. That's why she's out and there. And I'm like, trying to I, imagine, I, I, like, yeah. As... I'm talking real talk, like, you see it in someone's eyes when someone doesn't care if they get into a fight. What's so hateful? I don't get it. The guy with the squeaky voice on the stuff. What does he got that kill? Does he call all Mexican rapists? He said that's what they are. Oh, some of them are? So can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. You think America is the most tyrannical nation in the world, right? I think that's kind of an extreme. But... You think, you, well, I mean, they, they're saying it's the most tyrannical when you overthrow the government because it's so bad. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm confirming or deny that. That's, that's what they're saying. Statement. But are these same people... I don't know enough about that subject to comment. That's fair. Well, you live in America. Okay. Well, you, Do you think it's pretty safe for you to walk down the road and protest and things like that? Yeah, you're not white. You want to That's what she
This is Amber Cummings. She wants violence. That's why she's on campus. This is Amber Cummings. She wants violence. That's why she's on campus. Go home, Amber. This is Amber Cummings. Amber Cummings. Intimidate you. That's why she's on campus. This is Amber, Amber Cummings. Cummings. She wants violence. That's, That's why, why she's, she's on campus. campus. I'm actually starting to. I think I eventually started to get in sync with him. This is Amber, Amber Cummings. Cummings. She, she wants violence. You. She wants to start a fight. That's why, why she's, she's on campus. campus. Well, let's get the coffee. Get <laughs> yeah, they eventually did. They they eventually did get this guy for um. They, she she went straight up to a cop and I, I think told the cop that he's trying to tighten and which he was because he, he kept repeating the same thing over and over again what else could he be trying to do he is trying to, to incite uh, a riot by telling people that she's here to bring violence and all she's doing is doing a march we're just marching around we did two laps maybe three I can't remember yeah he is trying to incite a riot he's on campus you guys love you guys to to incite a riot. hell yeah this is Amber we're coming she wants it's violence Let's fight! Let's fight! you! That's why she's on campus! Yeah, this is exactly what he's doing. She wants violence! That's why she's on campus! Amber Cummings wants to start a fight! That's why she's on campus! Cummings, what, what he was doing was that uh, what he was doing was actually very serious because he really was trying to intimidate a riot, like start a riot. That's he was trying inciting to inciting violence, right there. Inciting, he was trying to incite a, a riot. Yeah, but, but he, he was pointing and shouting, and he's like literally just pointing straight at her. I have it right here on footage and, and video. There he is, yelling and pointing right at her, and saying her full name. So, uh, I mean, I'm taking it like it's, I mean, I'm, I'm just having fun at this point. I'm obviously the... the I mean, you're pretty messed up at this point. It, it, so, but, but what he's doing is actually pretty serious. ...to intimidate you, that's why... Oh, she's on campus! Amber Cummings wants to win this! That's why she's on campus! I'm more determined to come back than ever. I'm more determined to come back. This is Amber Cummings. She wants to start a fight. That's why she's, she's on campus. campus. <laughs> You're fucking with him. <laughs> this is Amber Cummings. She wants to intimidate you. That's, That's why she's on she campus. campus. Hooray! <laughs> this is Amber, Amber Cummings. She wants violence. That's violence. Why she's on campus. campus. Intimidation. Hooray! Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> You, you did the right thing. I'm not. I'm not lying, man. That, that was the best fucking thing you could have pulled off. They don't want me to tell the police that they took my button. Okay, we're back, you guys. Um, right at the front of Squall Plaza. No idea where Amber's at. She went MIA. They stole one of Lindsay's buttons off of her backpack, came up to us, and then bounced. You see, most of them, all there is left is this, these two guys right here, these two big white boys. And the guys who stole her button, had just they just took off. So she had her, she had a button on her backpack right there. It was an anti-Marxism, anti-Marxism button, and now it's gone. They came right up to us and said, oh, thanks for the button. And they took it. Oh, I want one. Yeah? Okay. This is when you're with them. I don't know what the hell is going on, so I started doing some of my own recording. Like, just with the camera. I think I put my phone away. No, no, I can't remember. I know at one point I was doing the live stream. It's free. And you tried to call me, and I just said... I picked that thing up and I was carrying the, the whole thing around like this. People were taking pictures of me. I was like, ah, oh, yeah. It's 
go this way. This guy who goes for days. I know. Oh, there's comments. Amber's at Revolution Books. Amber's at Revolution Books. This is right there. Do we want to walk down there by ourselves? Do we want to go to Revolution Books? I think we're going to go to Revolution Books, guys. This is when you start calling like yeah. the can we move to the future. I never see these. I rarely ever see these photos of these people who take pictures of me. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. You know, I took a poll. All right, I need to stop this real quick. Fooling anybody is those sunglasses, I swear to God. up onto the stairs I came up and I asked the officer if it was okay if we can use the stairs and he was actually nice enough to let us up there state your purpose press and party I don't know why you need to be over here. I started recording a bit and then one of the NT people got mad at me and told me to stop. Yeah? Yeah. Glad you got some footage. We're in a very lucky spot right now. We have a good view of everything that's happening. Berkeley's finest. Look at this guy, he's pissed off. That guy punched Marco, apparently. I like how he's wearing a Stanford shirt, but there's a plot on it. For some reason, I have to be up there. No problem. We'll step aside. Thanks for letting me see the spot, though. Good for now. I hope I'm Man breaks my heart to see what my home state and the Bay Area have become. Same here, brother, same here. This is the Revolution Bookstore right here. Yeah, I just noticed that too. A lot of people up there.
I guess they're not going to let us into the bookstore. This isn't really what I expected for the whole street to be blocked off like this. That's the bookstore right in there. It was just supposed to be a demonstration where we walk up, where we walk up and we do maybe a couple of chants and then we leave. But they're not going to even let us do that. Oh, there's Amber with her flag right here. What were you thinking we were going to do? Smash the storefront? Break the windows? Steal the books? That's <laughs> Same here. This chick, she's all get the fuck out. They really believe they're a fashion. There's Abner. The crowd is crowding. I guess we did our demonstration, and that's that. All right, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> I know you got some. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's a lot more footage. It's still it's arms, can't lax. Help Music. Thank you. Not much left to do now. Oh, are we going to have a bar? Okay. <laughs> Is there any after event? Yeah. We, gotta meet, we have to stick with Amber, though. She's doing an after event. So, let's catch up with her. Find where this crowd is going and hit up the puppy with the boys. And this is, I'm, an, I'm against hate, but we hate stuff, right? They're against what you hate. They're against what you hate. Officer James Echo. Officer James Echo. Where are you? Officer James Echo. Okay. Look at that dog with sunglasses. Officer Bob Saget. Officer Bob Saget, come out. Woo. Sorry. Hold on one sec, guys. I've never seen these streets so busy before. Hey, this guy wants to take our picture. This guy wants to take our picture. Too bad you showed up with your mask down. <laughs> I don't know where Amber's at, but let's see if we can find her. Come on. What is this rally? This is a.
Okay. Lead the way. Yes. He was trying to take a picture of him. This is obviously Antifa. No, no, fucking Sith Lord, fucking. Sith Lord? He's a fucking Sith Lord, exactly. Darth Sidious. Darth Sidious. My lord. Only 190 pound Darth Sidious. <laughs> Jabba the Hutt. Fucking Jabba the Hutt dressed as Darth Sidious. That's what that was. They're still gonna protect just in case anyone comes back. Clearly. They're not done yet. Huh? Members contacting. Yeah, yeah, I can messenger. Yeah, it's too bad. It's such a cluster of really cute girls, cute women around here. And they're all, you know, left leaning. You have to go through a mission and a half to red pill them. Look at this blue hair. A couple of tripod Antifa trio. Ready? Let's cross. There's no cars coming. Yep, they're back over here. Not right back over here. No wonder there's no traffic because they got the whole freaking sidewalk, the whole street blocked off. They'll never get around. They'll never figure it out. We'll just block these roads. Make America great again is fascist. That's what they said. Never great. Same old shit. America was never great. Catchy song. Just hateful little bastards. Good to see you. You're a good man. My buddy. So this is like a, you can't say it's already great if you say it was never great at the same time. But they do. 
One, two, three, four has to do with Mexico. That's based, Kami. Oh, God. Peter, kill it. Same old chance. So this is hilarious. It's four people. One of them is transgender. One's it's literally like four minorities. And then 50 cops, huh? Yeah. Oh my god. Gotta make Berkeley Berkeley again. Okay. Why are the fuck are people so mad? You know, you think, like, if, if the cops were in here, they would try to like mob her, and to, you know, to take one, and then it would just end up like she would just like kill someone. This is where I get into another conversation with base Kami. Um, you just offer him a good choice, don't you? You want a mushroom? You want this? Did I offer him mushroom? I'm pretty sure this is where you offer random people mushrooms. I offered so one guy some mushrooms. I'm not gonna say who. Dude, you remember know, this? No! You were whipping out this mushroom like a fucking like show and tell everybody. Apparently, I was just whipping out mushrooms like show and tell everybody. Dude. And then the, the cops, remember when the cops started moving? I do remember moving, the when we got in the bag, I remember that. Yeah, you did that multiple times, you did that numerous amount of times. How come I haven't seen any of it on camera? Because you don't point your camera, you point one camera one way, and then you use your other hand to grab the drugs. <laughs> Imagine them like, you know, like running her. Yeah. It's big, big. She could just like, you know, before it's all over, take a few people out of here. She could, yeah. Be like a, like a but, horde but, of hyenas versus one lion. But again, would never start with herself. That's that's the big thing, is they would never throw the first punch. You know? It's, yeah, it's always them. It's always them. It's always them. Try to make it seem like it's us, but they always fail. It's never us. Most people walking by are like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, like, Explain this to a person who not I'm going to to They're saying the same thing that I'm saying. They're calling it. Like, Nobody was really, well, I mean, like, they, they actually didn't. Security was unnecessary. It was completely unnecessary. Yeah. Hey, Eddie Bragg. Doesn't Eddie Bragg. In the roof. Eddie Bragg, in the roof. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's here. He's here. Everyone here needs to know how important it is. I'll go grab him. Watch my hand. It's an option right now. <laughs> Holy shit, Holy shit. Ooh, you got trouble. I guess I broke the line. <laughs> Wait, what did you do? I, I tried to get Eddie's attention and they didn't like that. Where's Eddie? He's in the blue shirt, right over there.
Remember like at Milo, he got blooded. He was standing there like just the blood the drenching. Blood down his yeah. face. He's like, they didn't let me down. They didn't let me down. Hey, the cops are talking to you. I'm not listening. Oh, he says he's not listening. He's taking a picture. He's taking a picture of his costume. Yeah. They look like a fucking They did? They did? They did? They did?
where's base? Where's where's base calling? We're done. Let's go. Here. We're done. Let's go. you guys I think we're about winding down now and this is over so I'm gonna end this live stream since since we're done yes eyes on our six because people are weird like that around here and uh Some more beer footage. Oh, yeah, I got I kept a good eye on the cops with this footage. Look at that, we got one cop there, we got a van. You notice they were being kind of. This van was filled with fucking SWAT team. <coughs> Two yeah. people. This was like being the president, like a group of important people, because we got our own escort of, yeah. of armed men. Antifa just showing up, yeah. which is like one person trying to fuck with us right now and not noticing the police. You know, I think like SPLC and the uh, college in general, I think they told Antifa to back off. I think they know it's bad optics, so like they, they, they're basically, they were telling Antifa to basically don't come. Huh. But they came anyway, we just did that mess. Made any arrests today? I wonder if they made any arrests. You know, 
Yeah, they actually had So it's it. just a facade? It's like, it's like a facade, it's sort of like this is such a revolutionary town but it's like we live in this society that's not violent so like if, if kids want to like protest pro 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 something they could, they could be like led the other way in handcuffs to show how cool they are but it's not here. I'm just gonna enjoy this footage because I, I was at a loss of words that's how protected I felt like and nobody gonna fuck with us. And I sure hope somebody tries because that would be the best fucking thing to happen. Cause imagine some imagine somebody completely unrelated to Antifa or the whole entire event. Some bum just comes off the street with a pocket knife and is like, hey, give me all your money. <laughs> like Yeah. <clears throat> That's not gonna happen here. Have you ever seen what's that movie? <clears throat> It's an old school movie where it's like this guy. Well, I was at this point I was tripping balls. Me totally, too. Like, totally just... I remember this though. Remember that movie? It's like this couple kidnaps a, uh, some guy's wife, some rich guy's wife, and they keep offering ransom, but the guy doesn't want to pay it. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. Know that the, the girl was just like, man, I got kidnapped by Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know, is it a movie or what? Yeah, it's a movie. Um, it's an old 80s movie. Oh, no. Fucking, what's his name? Danny DeVito is the guy they kidnap the wife from. But Danny DeVito is like a cheapskate, doesn't like his wife. So he's like, oh yeah, now they're going to kill my wife. You know, but they just want money. And it's like they, they side with the girl they kidnapped. And they, uh, make, they, they trick him into like getting rid of his money. You know? Huh. It's a good movie. I don't know what it's called though. I want to watch it. Yeah, I'll check it out. You know what I'm talking about. You know what answer it is. me in the uh, give me the answer in the comment section below. Right down, right down there. Just do it now. I love my trash coat so much. That particular black French coat. That one, don't you? Just, when I found it, yeah, it was like, they're, they're, like no, nothing comes out of it. They just, they like ahead of time, they know they'll get arrested. This is Mexico. That's basically old school communism all over. Oh yeah, yeah. But but no, listen, Falarca when she came out with like free speech, group, uh, I think it was September 17th. And they, they actually had her face down, and then they like they really like they handcuffed her. They let her. If you don't mind, I'm gonna turn it this way so that it's facing us. There we go. There are those beautiful skateboards with the motor built in them. Oh, you guys are everywhere. I 
kind of felt like when he rolled up and then and we were trying to talk and he just kept going broom, 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 was kind of a rude thing to do. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. Maybe he was showing off. I Maybe I took, misread that. But I, I felt like I, that's just the way I took it. That's just the way I thought. That's the way I saw it. You're on mushrooms, so you have that to defend yourself with. Shit. Tripping means you're tripping off of everything. <clears throat> After that, we're, they took us to our car. I can only imagine that, you know, maybe the, out of respect for you, they can only imagine, like, isn't this guy that this is the guy that was shoving mushrooms in his mouth and shit and sipping on a whiskey bottle? <laughs> guy's doing drugs and alcohol. <laughs> Now we're escorting him to his car. Okay. And now we're gonna escort him with our motorcycles alongside his car. <laughs> <laughs> out of town. Just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we'll be get pulled over on the freeway. <laughs> there was one moment where we were lost in the neighborhood because we couldn't find the freeway. And we are just going down this road and I was tripping my ass off on mushrooms. And the only way to get to the freeway was to make a U-turn, but kind of in, in my head there's just like, well, here in San Jose, you can kind of circle your way to the freeway through a neighborhood that usually works. But in this specific area, it was the only thing you could do, it was a main street, and the only, it, it was like a, like a cul-de-sac main street. Like, you can only make a U-turn, and if you went any direction into the neighborhood, it would have just led you to more cul-de-sacs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this was a really long street. <laughs> and I thought that was the funniest thing on like I've ever seen. Some million dead ends. The only way to, to get on the freeway was to turn around. That was the only way out. The only way out was back. Thank God. We were going somewhere. We were meeting Amber. We, from there, we went to Amber's Amber's uh, um, pizza thing. Pizza thing, yeah. And uh, yeah, we we met up. We yeah, we met up at uh, Mountain Mike's. And what happened there? We were the first ones there. We, we actually were beat just her tripping. There. I took the slow lane there, all the way there. But somehow we got there before everybody else. I remember else. being there, but the memory. Did you her gas? I, I remember. I remember being there, but we beaten. And like pretty much all the mushrooms at this point, and I was high as fuck. And what else? We were watching Harry Potter, but we were kind of sitting separate from the group, probably because we were. It was better to. Trip. We started in the booth, and then we got up and moved moved closer. Probably wasn't the best spot though. I mean, not for conversating. No. We were just tripping, enjoying the movie, eating pizza. We, we were beyond interacting with people because of how high we were. We were just we wanted to enjoy the fucking high. <laughs> and the only way we could Everything was funny for me, and the movie that I, I couldn't help but watch Harry Potter, which was on the TV. I was picking apart that movie like it was a freaking you know, yeah button doll or some shit. I don't know what good analogy for that, but uh, that. At, at that point, it were, you know, it was just, I was cool. Uh, what's his name? A good buddy of mine. What's his name? The Asian dude. Jacob. Right. So he's there. He comes with us. Fucking awesome dude. Loves the countries I like, like, for visiting. He's there. He likes to drink beer. He gets a pitcher of beer. Oh, man. Oh, the fucking the freshness of beer flowing down my throat. That's just, honestly, it feels great. Feels great. We we drink the one pitcher, but uh, I, it was kind of short lived. Next thing I knew, I look up. Everyone's everyone's getting up, and you know the pizza's gone. I really look. I, I get up. I only had one slice of pizza, and I knew there was still a couple of bites left on it. I wanted my slice of pizza. I looked down, and it was gone, and it's like. And then I look around and look, and like all the pizza was just gone. I swear to God, it's like it just disappeared. The thing is, is that we were partying way too hard. Of course. <laughs> Everybody there way had kids, and like, their kids there. When we got there, it was, it was dead. A, it was, there was nobody. Yeah, we got there early. Like, they went to get their kids because it was a... It felt oh, like a, it was a, that's probably why we were the first ones there. Like, it was an entirely <laughs> different event at that point. Yeah. It, was, it was beyond rallying. It was just a pizza eat-out thing, yeah. you know? It went from 
it, it, it took a different direction. It took a different swing. It wasn't partying. It was more. It was more of like a family a gathering. Yeah. And friends and family type of thing, not just friends and partying. <laughs> we we're, were tripping out on mushrooms, and there's fucking at least eight kids eating pizza I in the know arcade. Any, you know, like shit. I didn't even know any of those kids were with us. They were all over with us, yeah. I, I knew what was going on. I, I, I knew... I had no idea. I'm gonna say this right now. I've done enough mushrooms to be able to, like, read everything, you know? Like, I, I overanalyze too much when I'm on mushrooms. But, like, I can still have Who are these younglings running around? Who do they belong to? I'm gonna figure that out. That crosses your mind? Yeah, it does. Huh. Everything crosses my mind on mushrooms, I tell you. I was all about just enjoying just entertaining myself just then kicking back in I, yeah i was having too much yeah fun. i did that too I, I i was able to do that when i was watching the movie but when it came to hanging out with them it became more of like a task to like it's easier for you about. when everyone's focused on me i don't know <laughs> man that's not how i look at things i don't know i get so high on mushrooms i, I see myself and everybody you know what i mean have you ever got that high before? No. Ha, 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 ha. 